Okay guys, welcome back. Okay, now I want to go into some of the really the really intrinsic parts of understanding of what we're trying to do here. You really have to know what you're trying to achieve here. And most times not what you think. We've seen all this done before. We've seen all this stuff done. See, all the, all the components are pre-reactionary to the final result. I'm setting. I'm leading. I'm releasing. I'm delivering. That's all a golf swing is. If I was going to throw this out here, I wouldn't do it the way most people do in a golf swing. I wouldn't just do that, which is what most people do in a golf swing, and then just throw this out here, and then do that. And that's basically what we do, or well, not to that extent, but, but you get the message. What's this, guys? It's transferring. Now, we're not going to lift our feet that much. Clearly, we're not going to lift our feet that much. But it doesn't ha hurt in the initial stage of learning to do that. Don't worry if you miss it. Don't worry. I mean, even when I'm learning something like this, and I keep going back to this, guys, I always target. I always try and hit the ball to a target. I always do that. And there's no point in getting a new process going and you perfect it and then you can't target. So I'm always trying to hit the ball to the target. And I always grade myself, even when I'm learning. So we're going to hit it out there to that uh, 175 sign. And we're just going to let it happen. I'm going to be as as nonchalant as I possibly can in this golf swing. Well, I don't know guys, it's just, I would never want to hit the ball better than that. I don't think I could ever hit it better than that. And that's just completely an unabridged golf swing. There's nothing in that that is concocted. I'm just feeling the weight of this golf club and I'm just going for a walk. Just going for a walk. A walk in the park or a walk in the practice team. That's all it is. How long is that? Perfect. Come over here, Pete. We just want, you know, you might as well be here while, and I can throw things at you. So you're seeing me do that now. Um, am I getting that nice flow? Am I getting the, oh, the club setting? It really is nice. Good flow? Yeah, nice flow. Doesn't look, doesn't look sloppy or... No, I, I would love to see you hit half a dozen balls just straight off with that flow. Just let it happen. Just just beautiful, natural. Oh, you mean like that, Pete? Yeah, absolutely perfect. As good as it gets. No, nothing holding it back. I know what everyone's going to say. It's not that easy. <laughs> it is that easy. The only thing is, guys, the difficulty with all of this stuff is convincing yourself that it's that easy and convincing yourself that general instruction per se, and I'm not being you know, uh, derogatory or denigrating when I say this uh, about general instruction, but general instruction doesn't take into consideration the normal, inherent um, processes and programs that we have as a, as a species, that we have to get us through our life on a day-to-day -day basis with our locomotion. This is, this is just normal locomotion with a golf club in your hand. Sneed didn't have a golf swing, he just went walking with a golf club in his hand. He just went walking with a golf club in his hand. This is JH walking with a golf club in his hand. Oh. 
and that to me is still a little bit of what I call cross programming. That's going back to the old, I want to hit it at the bottom type situation. That tenses my arms up, pulls my arms off the line. It still went perfect, but I didn't like the feel of it and it didn't have the flow. Like that. Now I think I can probably slow that swing down 30 or 40 percent because I've still got a lot of charge into the golf ball and I don't need any charge into the golf ball. Don't need that. Just let it fall on the golf on the golf ball. Oh, like that. Absolutely perfect. And guys, I don't care what my arms do. I don't care if they do this or that. I don't care. The only thing that that's important is a ball flight. Let it go. I really just let this release. Oh. How long is that, John? 160 meters. Fly. That's flying that, that 160. So that's 176 yards into the wind. Flew straight over the top of that. And um, that's a six on. Six on. Mm. But with these balls. So, proper balls, that's probably about a 180 carry, normally. And that's, that's easy to do. Easy to do. Oh. Well, see, how do you get that accuracy? That, that's like at 180 yards, 176 yards. That's landing on the top of a uh, of a pool table, and I'm still jumping at the ball. Still jumping at the ball. All right, the longer club should stop me jumping at the ball. See, that's exactly the same line, only, only 25 metres longer through the air, isn't it? Absolutely. But exactly the same line. Spot on. And guys, I'm still, no question in my mind, I'm still way over the top in terms of applying myself to the golf ball. Don't have to apply yourself to the golf ball. Don't do it. Okay, don't do it, James. Just, just let the club happen. Oh! Yeah, that's three wood distance. That is the best ever I've seen you hit a golf ball. That's three wood distance, isn't it? It is 12 out of 10. That's three wood distance with a... Absolutely. With a, uh, basically a, a four on. This little rescue is a 21 degree. Yeah. So it's basically a four on. But that's gone as far as the three wood. <laughs> All right, same that, again. That's how Mr. Thompson used to hit it. Yeah. Oh, oh God! I think that's further. <laughs> I don't know. Well, guys, it's, it's the good thing is here is that I'm hitting these shots and I feel like they're out of control. But the good thing is they're going straight at the target that is where I'm wanting to hit. And I can't help myself. Even when I'm practicing like this, I still think I want to hit this one a little bit left of the target, a little bit right, a bit high, a bit low. I just do that. That's. That's just J.H. I never hit a shot without a purpose. Okay, we'll hit this straight at that... Uh, we'll try and fly this about 180. Um, straight into that, uh, into that little crosshead breeze. Wow. Hell. <laughs> try about 200 carry. See that? Wow. How does that happen? Alright guys, we'll run out of time. We'll be back. Ha, <laughs> ha,